Hey y'all, how you doing on this Tuesday? Um, I didn't get a chance to put a video up Sunday. Um, that snowstorm moved in and well, I had to work. Um, unfortunately, I do have to plow snow when it snows, so I had to work. I worked all day Monday, so I slept most of the day Sunday. Worked all day Monday, all day Tuesday. Well, day meaning I started at 2 a.m. plowing snow. And both days I worked past noon so um one day was almost or monday was almost three o'clock 3 p.m by the time i finally got off anyway um it's the life of a landscaper um this is the second time i've tried to shoot this video because first time i forgot something important and i had to redo it i didn't like it i was not going to do a video today because I'm tired. It's been a long couple of days. But I got a shipment in from 802 Customs. I've been waiting on this shipment for... Well, it hasn't been that long. I just ordered it last week. Um, but I've been anxiously waiting for it. Um, it came in. Um, I'm real happy with it. So uh, let me show you what I got. Um, first of all, I got different back racks this time. Um, you can see the last one. I was going to clean that video, that truck off before I shot the second video, and I forgot again. Um, this one's got the deer head in it, so I ordered a couple different ones. Um, I need to order a couple more of those deer head ones because I really like those. So I got this one. Um, they seem to fit in the green light Ford Dooley's the best. Um, almost like they were designed for these trucks because the tail light lines up with the hull perfectly. Um, we're on the Chevy It's a little tall So it just doesn't quite line up might be able to cut a little bit off the bottom sand it down a little bit To make it fit the Chevy Dooley's. I'm sure you could um, this other one that I got Different style Which is also a little tall for the Chevy, but you could cut that down. You don't necessarily need this top piece I mean you could customize it and once you buy it, you can customize it any way you want, right? So, I got that one too. Again, they seem to fit the forge perfectly. Um, I ordered the flatbeds. Let's go with them first because those are my favorite so far. Um, he has two different styles. Has a single rear wheel and the dual rear, dual rear wheel. Obvious, obvious differences. One's a little wider than the other one. Um, I... Wanted to try those since the flat beds are getting tough to find, so I'm going trying to move to 3D printed beds. Um, I think this bed is going to fit this Chevrolet perfectly. I just got to cut those fender wells down, and it should fit on there pretty daggone good. I'm really happy with that. Uh, sizing is perfect. Um, I've ordered from 802 Customs before, and they were perfect the last time. Uh, how about before we knock this off of here? I ordered two sets of these truck ramps. As you can see, I got the four-wheeler on one already. Um, still got to paint it, but uh, I wanted to model it just because I thought it was really cool. I got two new welders because those are cool, and I'm going to do, I'm going to build a truck, and I'm going to outfit it with everything it needs, and then list that on eBay and see how that does. I got these stacks. Um, now, the stacks seem to be a little bit short if you stick them in a truck bed. You have to excuse me. I'm not real big on uh, keeping up with the modern trends. I'm not big into diesel trucks. I don't have a need for one. Can't afford one, so I just have a regular gas truck. Anyway, these seem a little short to me in the back of a pickup truck. You guys tell me, is that correct? Is that the height they're supposed to be? I, I always figured they'd be a little higher, closer to the top of the cab, in my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, but what I did find out is that if you put it on the bed that 802 Customs builds, it fits on there just about perfect. I think it's just about where it should be. So maybe he made it for the beds, his own bed. I don't know. But they look good on the bed. So we're going to probably do one like that. What else do we get here? We got some diesel exhaust tips. Um, first time ever using those, so I'm excited to use those. I'm going to build my first diesel truck. See, I already bumped it and knocked it off. 
Um, already built my, or I'm going to build my first diesel truck, and we're going to use this 3500 Chevy Duramax. Ought to be a good first diesel truck. Probably going to do something with those wheels and tires. Um, don't expect me to put them on those big gaudy rims and tires because I don't get into those. I hate those. But we're going to do something. We'll make it look good. Uh, these beds are also going to be perfect. The dually, the dually bed is going to be perfect. This might be the bed that I finally found for this C70. Um, I think it looks good on there. So I just got to build it out, find a better frame for it and build it out. But don't quote me on that because I've changed that two or three times. So that's what I've oh, I also got these five gallon buckets. These are pretty sweet, right? Paint those up different colors and put some stuff in there and put that in the back of a truck. That'll look pretty good. They have, I've seen miniature tools, you know, like uh, grease guns and impact wrenches and stuff like that that you can get. I just don't have one. Um, what else we got going here? Oh, yeah, I've been wanting to show you this. This is one I forgot in the first video. This I got from Action Toys last week. And I finally got it painted up and put together. Um, but, and, and I was wrong. I told you guys last week that I thought this may have been 164. But it is, it is actually, or I'm sorry, I thought it was HO scale. Um, but it is actually 164 scale. And this thing is cool. Not only does it look good. But it operates, guys. Check that out. Ain't that cool? Um, it's all painted up, put together. Um, it's got pins in it to where this moves, your ram moves, and then this folds up and down. Um, that thing is really, really sweet, guys. You guys should check that out from Action Toys if you want one of these. That's going to be really sweet. Set this up in your diorama with a big pile of split wood behind it. That'll look sweet. So... Um, that is all I had for that. I also, um, a week or two ago, I did a small deal with Houston Cowdog. And I got a few things in from him a couple days ago. Um, I got in some of his really cool cab lights. He sent me some of those. Um, I'm not sure if they glue on or stick on. I, I forgot to ask him that. So I'm not sure. i got to figure that out yet. But those are really sweet. I'm looking forward to putting those on. I, I like the color on those. That amber color. That's going to look good, guys. And then he also sent me a set of tires and a couple different sets of truck mirrors. So I really send out a great thank you to Houston Cowdog for that. That was greatly appreciated. Um, I got more videos coming here soon, guys. I got a whole bunch of new flatbed trucks coming. I got a whole bunch of new pickups coming. Uh, well, not a whole bunch. I have a few. I have a few. And then um, I'm planning a trip to Indianapolis. Seems to be the die-cast capital of the world. We're going to go there in a couple weeks and uh, see if we can't find some cool stuff there. Can't wait for that. Um, I guess that's about all I got for today, guys. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and... Uh, We'll see if we can't keep growing this channel. Y'all have a good day. I'll catch you in a couple days. Bye.